Hey, it's me again. I do have company in my room. Let's hope that they will be quiet, as you can see her. Um, oops. This is my favorite segment, okay? So I am queen of the lip gloss, lipstick, anything that goes on my lips because I've always had large lips. These are natural. Um, they get dry because I guess because they're so big that they catch the wind more. I don't know. So I'm going to go over some of my favorites and some of my really sucky ones that I um, have gotten as far as your lip glosses, lipsticks. I even got a plumper or two in there. Uh, your lip pencils, not lip liners. Um, I that could be a whole different subject if I really need to get into it. I don't use a lip liner all that often. Then again, I don't reply reapply my lip stuff as often as I probably should. So let's go through some sucky ones. Man, I was really really excited about uh, the Bobbi Brown pencils um, that came out. I mean, they're like, they're chubby, chubby, chubby pencils for big lips like me. And I think it came with a uh, sharpener also for the big fatties. It dries the crap out of your lips straight across the board. The color, amazing. But if you're going to use it, you're going to have to use something over it because dry, 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 dry. And that is not what I want. Um, Bite, which you can get at Sephora, I guess, I think it's like Sephora's line, I could totally be wrong, but Bite has some of their pencils out, it could be a liner, um, but it's highly pigmented and it's pretty creamy, uh, it stays on pretty well too, so, and they come with like a lot of kits and stuff, especially during the holidays, but I do like Bite a lot, uh, and it's not really as, pri no, it's pricey, I like the other, um, like, pencils type things I've gotten are, Tarte ones are really good. Um, I got some of the little minis, and it came with a kit that had um, some shiny ones and some matte ones. Obviously, if you're getting the matte ones, it's going to dry your lips out. But there's these little Tarte ones. There was, like, a whole kit of, like, a whole bunch of different uh, matte and shiny and... Stop it! So, here's a big tart one. This one is called Lip Surge. Um, that's actually what I have on right now. Um, it works amazing. Um, stays on pretty well. It doesn't taste like crap. It doesn't dry my lips out. Um, I like them. It doesn't stay on like crazy long, but I like it. Um... Revlon Color Burst Matte. It was good. If, you know, matte is in season. The season. Um, but no matter what you do, matte's going to dry your stuff out. Um, I really don't see any difference between Tarte, which are like 20 bucks or $18, as opposed to the Revlon or the... That's another Revlon, but this one is a full color one um, that doesn't dry out. So they both have a matte and a shiny. Um, let's see. Sorry about all the M's. That's how I do things around here. <sighs> let's go to lip glosses. Now, lip glosses, I love lip glosses, but man, they never stay. Um, yes, I could put a lip primer on. I could put a lip pencil around it. I could do any of that. But, um... This was, a, I guess, in a new kit um, that I got not too long ago, and nothing spectacular. It's pretty color, but nothing right home about. To be honest, uh, Victoria's Secret lip glosses are actually really, really pretty, and this one is like, see all the different facets and colors? It's kind of like, I actually put this over like some of my matte stuff. Um, I really like it. It's not sticky. That's my big thing is I hate, hate, hate sticky lip gloss. And we'll get to, which y'all are going to be shocked when I tell you what one of my worst lip glosses are because it's probably the most 
popular whenever. Um, let's see, lip glosses. One of my favorites across the board is the Buxom. I love these. They do have the cooling effect, which is supposed to be a plumper or whatnot. It doesn't plump anything. Um, but it is has kind of like the minty taste of it and stuff. I, I love these. I love the full color. I love the gloss. All of them. I love all of them. There's not one lip gloss and the different kind of styles that they have. My dog is bellowing on top of my clothing. Come here! So, buxom, buxom, buxom. They're a little pricey, but you can get some kits, and um, so you can get a whole bunch of the different colors. The buxom, if you pee, I'm going to kick your ass. The buxom lip sticks are okay. Like, nothing, nothing spectacular about them, although I do like buxom. Get off! Um, let's see here. Ooh. If you haven't tried Melted yet, you're losing out. These are super, super pigmented, um, like the color of a lipstick and the consistency of a lip gloss. Amazing. Um, this is a mini, obviously. I think I got it um, like one of my rewards for Sephora. Uh, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. The colors are bright. They feel great. They're not sticky. It's just like having liquid lipstick in a bottle. I love it. Um, let's see what else do I have here. Um, NYX, you can't go wrong. I mean, lip gloss isn't going to stay on forever anyway, so you might as well buy the cheap stuff. Uh, the matte ones are good. This is the, the Butter Gloss. I like them. Uh, you can't go wrong with the price point on that and the colors. There's so many different colors. Kat Von D. Oh, God, I hate to say it. Not a Kat Von D fan. So sorry. But her colors are great. Um, the red, it has to be one of the prettiest red glosses that I've ever put my hands on. Um, stays on pretty well. Um... This could go everywhere, though. This red is pretty potent, so be real careful. But the Kat Von D lip gloss, it definitely, uh, it definitely withstands a couple Starbucks. Let's see, what else? Okay, so for my dry lips, I am obsessed with sugar. This is like, if you can see it. They're really, really pricey, like lip balms, but they feel amazing. Uh, I, I don't know what they put in it, but uh, the colors are really, really sheer, but they feel great. Um, like I said, big dry lips. These always help. I actually keep one by my bed. I think I have one in my purse. Get off my clothes! If anybody knows how to train a three-pound chihuahua, message me. Um, uh, like I said, pricey, Sephora, I don't, I don't even know if Ulta has it. Um, and they also have a store, um, like their own store too. Uh, it's by Fresh. Let's see here. All right. You want to go back to my lip glosses? <sighs> MAC Lip Gloss Glass Cream Sheen. I'm sorry. I still buy them. But the lip gloss is so freaking sticky and goopy on my lips. Hate it. Still buy it. Because the colors are amazing. Price point isn't too shabby either. But if you get the cream sheen, the consistency is way creamier, obviously. Cream sheen. Um, it comes in tons of colors as well. Definitely, if you're choosing between the two, please do the cream machine because it feels way better on your lips. Um, let's see, I just picked up uh, Yves Saint Laurent YSL. These are really, really cool. They're like a, a lip stain. The stain 
dries out your lips. It gives you a really, really pretty color. Uh, don't get me wrong. But it does dry out your lips like any stain usually does. You're going to have to use something with it. So, unfortunately, this messes up the gorgeous color that they came out with. So, let's not waste our money because this was not cheap. But, I do like the YSL lipsticks. Um, they are pricey. I only buy them if literally the color is to die for. The color I got was no freaking clue. Pink. But this is the Rouge Volupte. Yeah, probably not saying that right. But anyways, um, I like to wear a, like a baby doll pink, so this was perfect for me. Um, since it was so expensive, I really don't wear it unless on special occasions. But it feels really good. It's not cakey. It's not matty. Um, but pricey. Um, let's go to my favorite lip gloss, hands down. Um, I brought the purple because that's one of my newer ones. Uh, it is the, uh, the OCC Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. If you have not seen these, please drop everything and look it up. The colors are amazing. Um, you can get like a white or you can get a black. You can mix them together. Um, it does come in a tube, but they also give you a brush with every single one that you buy. Yes, you put it on with the little brush, but it is pretty much a stain. This one is the lip tar and it's matte, but it is not a drying matte. So I don't have to really put anything over this. Now these are highly pigmented, like the color you see is the color you get. And that's definitely a plus in my book since not all places you can use their testers, nor want to use their testers. Um, love this stuff. Comes in millions of colors. Um, it's just really, um, it's actually pretty new. I Some of the color combinations, they have little kits you can only get online on Sephora that you can't get in the store. And I also got um, actually some eyeshadow but you can't get them in the store. You have to get them online as well. But like I said, as far as color, it is exactly what you get. Oh, let me go back. The You can get like this black color and then you can get the white color so that you can either lighten your colors up or darken them. Um, it's a really cool kiosk um, if you go to Sephora and just ask about it. Uh, they're not the cheapest, but you got to remember it you don't have to use a lot seriously don't have to use a lot and it stays on real well for a lip gloss which you know lo and behold now two of my actual favorite products i will spend my money on these you have um stila styla this is like a lip gloss okay a lipstick lip balm so it's very creamy, it's very hydrating, and it stays on, and it smells like peppermint, so you can't go wrong with that in case you have bad breath, which I never do. And then um, Too Faced has their new colors out too. Um, this just, they feel great, feel amazing, not cakey, stays on, yeah, not as long as the Stila, but it is a really nice consistency the colors really pigmented and it just feels really good on the lips um, for my dry crack crappy lips then last but not least is dude I just got this the other day and I'm really really uh, I really like it it's called um, sexy mother pucker it's an extreme plumper which it actually works I mean it's not gonna work all day um, but you can definitely feel it, so if you don't like that burning sensation, then nix this. But um, it is clear. Um, I got color on it already. But you could put it over, under, whatever. But I actually really liked it, and it really did plump them up for, I want to say, I could feel it for probably about 30, 45 minutes, to be really honest with you. Um, but it is very, very strong as far as... Um, the sensation that it gives you. Um, the last but not least, this has nothing to do with lips, but let me tell you, 
the worst thing I have found to hold my hair up. I should have put this in my hair thing, I know. These are so cute. These little, these little head things. These little knots or whatever, that's such a craze. But they're so useless. I got some Barbie ones the other day just to try them out for my nice fine hair and literally slid out within like 10 minutes. So please don't waste your money on these. I don't know who made these, but someone's really raking in the money because I know a lot of people are using them. Uh, maybe, it, maybe it does well with thick hair, curly hair, whatever. I don't know. But for fine hair like mine, it doesn't work. Just trust me. Don't try it. Don't go out and buy it. Just trust what I say. All right. Say goodbye to my dogs. Bye-bye, babies. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.